The following content is provided under a Creative Commons license. Your support will help MIT OpenCourseWare continue to offer high-quality educational resources for free. To make a donation or view additional materials from hundreds of MIT courses, visit MIT OpenCourseWare at ocw.mit.edu. Now we're ready to look at Fresnel diffraction from circular apertures. The setup is again the same as before, but let me go over it again. Here we have a helium neon laser, beam from the laser, gets reflected by this mirror, and then gets reflected again by this mirror into this lens. This is a short focal length lens, which is focused into a pinhole, an adjustable pinhole, and the light from the pinhole is then is a spherical wave, and you can see it here on the card, this is a spherical wave, and then we let it hit the, the screen. Now, we're ready to look at Fresnel diffraction from apertures. We have two apertures for you, and I'm going to place the first one in the, in the beam. So now, if we can look at the, the screen while I'm adjusting the aperture. Now here we are. It's a fixed aperture. It's a thousand microns in diameter. And as we can see, we see the uh, same kind of Fresnel diffraction pattern as we saw with the, with the slit. We see lots of fringes. Uh, they get finer and finer as you approach the center. And also the contrast is less and less as you approach the, the center. But what I'm going to do now, instead of keeping the distance fixed, what I'm going to do is vary the distance between the aperture and the, the, uh, and the light, or the aperture uh, from the pinhole. And I would like you to uh, watch what, what happens. So now I'm going to move the pinhole, uh, the aperture, uh, very close to the, uh, to the pinhole. And then uh, I move away. And then you can see, first you see lots of fringes. And then as I move away, you're seeing fewer and fewer fringes. And if you look in the center, hope you can see that there's a white spot in the center. Now we have a dark spot in the center. And then now we're getting fewer and fewer fringes until we have only, only two or three. Now let me go back towards the pinhole or towards the lens. You see the increase in the number of fringes. Now this is, again, this is very interesting. And I'm going to leave it to you to figure out. Here we are very close to the lens, and then we'll move away in the lens. All right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to move to the second, the second aperture, which is 400 microns in, in diameter. And here we are. Let me, let me again pick it up. There we are. Now this looks, diffraction pattern looks slightly different. And again, I want you to, to explain what's going on here. Again, now I'm going to move the, this new aperture, 400 micron diameter aperture, as close as possible to the lens. You can see one ring inside. And then now you see the bright dot in the middle. Then the bright dot becomes a dark spot in the middle. And now we get the white dot, in the, the brighter dot in the, in the middle. And here it's almost beginning to look like Fraunhofer diffraction. So here, let me move towards the lens, towards the focus of the lens, I mean. You see how the pattern changes. And as we move away, the pattern changes again. 
So let me hold it over here, let you look at it, and I hope you'll be able to figure all this out. Remember, the, the diameter of this aperture is 400 microns, and in the previous one, it was a 1,000 thousand microns. And again, the light is a, as I say, it was being focused by a, by a lens onto a, a small pinhole, and then we had a diverging beam uh, that is impinging on, uh, on, these two, uh, on these two apertures. So in summary, we've seen a variety of diffraction patterns. We've seen one-dimensional Fraunhofer diffraction pattern, and also we've seen two-dimensional Fraunhofer diffraction patterns. And finally, we looked at Fresnel diffraction associated with, with a slit or an adjustable slit, and also with, with apertures, and then we saw how the diffraction pattern changes as we move the aperture closer and closer to the uh, focus of the lens.